Well, there could be many different causes for depression. It could be organic, um, meaning that there's something chemically wrong with the body, with the nervous system. It could be a physical uh, impairment of some kind, uh, affecting and pinging the nervous system. Could be genetic, uh, genetic problem in the nervous system, but it could also be what I call multiple souls, meaning there be, might be more than one soul in the body. In which case, uh, one of the souls could be perfectly fine, and another soul could be really depressed and wanting to leave the body. Now. That's that's quite a lot of information to take in. Um, I think most people have an idea of having one soul, which they uh, th the soul came into their body at the moment of birth and left at the moment of death. How, what do you mean that, that a person can have two souls? Well, classically, through most of the traditions, there is only mention of one soul. But there are some cultures on the planet, uh, both historically and currently, you know, some very small cultures, that believe that the body can house more than one soul. And this is something that I fell upon about 12 years ago when I was working as a psychic. And it came through to me that there was this possibility and the more I worked with it, the more it seemed real. Um, why? Well, um, in some cases, a souls don't want to be a baby one more time. They have experienced babyhood throughout history, in which, uh, in many cases, they died in, inf in infancy. Uh, they never quite reached maturity in a body and uh, they did not experience adulthood, and they kept returning as a baby. So such souls want to make sure that they're entering a healthy body. And also, they may want to share a body where they don't have full responsibility, where they can take a vacation from running the body. And uh, where does the soul go when it goes on vacation? The way I see it, it's as though there were two or three passengers in a car. One of the passengers is actually driving the car, and two of them are simply looking out the window. And those souls are resting, you know, occasionally doing backseat driving. <laughs> so, Ruth, um, with the concept of multiple souls, how can you lift a person out of d depression? What I have been allowed to do with the help of uh, spirit guides and my higher self is actually once I've named the soul, I give it a tag of some kind, uh, I am allowed to f help facilitate its removal from the body if it's truly depressed or suicidal. In those cases, uh, the souls cannot readily leave the body as they cannot readily leave as they enter. They enter the body pretty e easily, but for some reason they haven't the technology or the ability to leave without some assistance. And you provide that assistance? That is correct. So how many people have you cured of depression in this way? I'm not keeping an accurate count, but I would say close to 150 people over the last 10, 12 years. Uh, well, Ruth, there are a lot of people in Australia who are suffering from depression. Um, and how many do you think could be helped in this way? I'm sure thousands and thousands could be helped. I mean, I know that the numbers are probably very high. Um, I personally, you know, would, ha would probably take the rest of my life to help it, people because I'd have to do it on a one-by-one -one basis. But if I had, you know, a few assistants here in Australia or elsewhere, um, certainly it could be done rapidly. I can do this kind of work over the phone as well as in person. And do a number of souls uh, live within one person perfectly happily, or uh, if there's more than one soul, is it always a cause for illness? No, there are many, many, most cases where the multiple soul situation is perfectly harmonious. It's only in a rare case where there's depression involved. Um, Einstein had four souls, according to my theory. Stephen Hawking has six souls. How do you know Einstein has four? Well, um, it's simply a psychic um, 
you know, realization. However, the more um, time that passes, the more they're uncovering his uh, romances. You know, if you have more than one soul, you're likely to be linked with more people, both spiritually and emotionally. And Einstein not only had several wives, he also had a few lovers. This is proof to me that he had a very complex life. Well, thank you very much for joining us on Panacea.